I think I did everything I need to set up, right? Pretty sure I did. Hopefully I'm good. I should be good. Hello, all of you professional gamers out there in the world. I am Mega Amster, and, uh, excuse me, welcome to the Nintendo Direct reaction for me. Um, yeah, so essentially, yeah, they just literally announced this Nintendo Direct, uh, literally yesterday. It was a little, little, uh, kind of close to the end of September here. So that's why I was kind of thinking they weren't even going to do it. But now that they are, it's kind of crazy. Um, but hey, we're here now. So that's all that matters. Um, but yeah, I got the, I got the squad ready. I got the, the Kirby squad ready. If any of you saw my tweet from like yesterday, got all of them ready here to go. We're going to get that, uh, that, that new Kirby game, maybe 3d. I don't know. Let's, uh, let me switch over to the other view at least so we can, uh, get that out of the way but um hopefully i was doing a little bit of testing earlier hopefully it should be okay um sorry the lighting's probably not going to be perfect just because like um i don't know i had the lamp like i had my i didn't i turned off my desk lamp for this one just because like at least for the reaction you know compared to my streams where like you know i'm just a little little box in the corner this one you're actually like up close seeing my face which is you know the kind of the point of the reaction um it just didn't look that good it looks a little little blurry with the lamp so I'm just dealing with my ring light for now. Hopefully it looks okay. Any audio or video issues, please let me know in the chat. I've got chat open here. Um, but yeah, let me full screen this. I should just be good there. Gotta like the video. Gotta like it. Cool. Yeah, chat. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to keep chat open here. What are you doing? What the hell? Ugh. Okay. No. This is why I start streaming ahead of time in case stuff like this happens. All good now. Let me just pull chat up open again. There we go. So we've got what? How, mu how much time? 12 minutes left. Um, I did make a bingo cheat. Here we are. Um, I didn't make a predictions video. I just didn't have time with remote work and everything. And, like, at the same time, they just announced this yesterday, like I said. So it's, like, I mean, like, it's kind of hard to... I know a lot, a lot of other channels made predictions videos. I was just like, you know what? I'm not even going to bother. Like, I have to record it and everything. I wouldn't even have the time for it. So I just... Um, if I had time last night, maybe I would have done it. But I just didn't do it now because I just didn't have time. Um, it really is getting dark in here, huh? I'm still not going to do the lamp, so hopefully the lighting you'll have to deal with, so apologies for that. Um, it is it is a little late my time, because it's actually 6 p.m. Eastern. I'm dealing with the Eastern uh, time zone here, so it's going to be a little late. Um, but I'm excited. I So just I guess just before this starts, we got almost 10 minutes left. Um, got some, some ideas on this bingo sheet I wanted to go over a little bit. Stuff that I could definitely see happening. Um, Age of Calamity DLC Pack 2. We're, this is the time to show it off. It comes out in November, supposedly. That's when that, it makes sense to show it off now. Um, I'm going to probably be live streaming that. I live streamed the first pack, so I probably will do the second one as well. Um, Mario Party Superstars, I guarantee we're going to get more news on that. That comes out in a month. And, I mean, it is just kind of a lot of the older content from previous Mario games, like the boards from the N64 games, and then, like, 100 of the best mini games across the series. But I still feel like there's more they could go into detail about. They didn't show all the boards. They could show more of the mini games. They could give us a little more detail. Maybe there's other modes and stuff, too. We don't know. So it'd be, uh, that's definitely something they could actually show as well. Um, in terms of other things that definitely think could show up, I feel like, you know, I predicted an Animal Crossing update for E3 just a few months ago, and I feel like E3 probably wasn't the best time to predict that, just because it's an existing game, and it's not like a really an E3 caliber kind of announcement for an update. But here, I could definitely see it. And it's been so long, like, that since we've gotten a new update for that game, the code for Brewster and, like, growing crops and stuff is in the game. It's in the code. So unless it's just gone completely unused, I feel like we could maybe see some of that coming. That would be cool to see. Maybe you would get me to go back to the game. I doubt it. <laughs> They'd have to do a lot to get me to go back to that game. Um, I could also see uh, another update for Mario Golf happening. Um, they just had that Mario Odyssey update happen. Actually, the only thing I wonder, did that update come out yet? Because if that update didn't release yet, then maybe not um i didn't hear anything about it does do people play mario golf anymore like i know it came out three months ago but still like is that a thing um i could at least i feel like they're probably going to do something similar to what they did with mario tennis aces for that game and maybe provide consistent updates for a bit yo professional gamer jared thompson in the chat how you doing man don't don't whatever that spoiler was that you texted me about before do not tell me what it was i have somehow avoided spoilers apparently it's leaked online and some like news sites were actually covering it Animal Crossing dumb no hey Jared to each their own <laughs> to each their own it's just they have so much other stuff they could put in the game that literally like 
they, they need to update it. Like, it can't just be dead. Like, the game feels like it's dead, but it was one of the biggest Switch games yet. They just weren't prepared for it, and they're just not releasing the update. So, I don't know. Maybe they don't have anything else for it. I don't know. But literally just a tiny segment for it, you know? Like, they had with those Mario items a while ago. Um, supposedly, there were supposed to be Zelda items in there, too, and I don't know if they talked about those. What else we got? Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread's a tough one, because they've been promoting that game heavily on Twitter, and not really... They don't need to put it in this Direct, to be honest. Like... They're not going to sell the game to new people in this Direct, I don't think, because the people watching this Direct are hardcore Nintendo fans that are either probably have already decided if they're getting the game or not. So I could I put it on here, but I could also see them not doing it. Um, what else we got? I'm honestly torn. Jared, I know we talked about this before. The Smash, the final Smash DLC character. Sakurai did say last time when Kazuya was revealed at E3 that we would have to wait a little longer that could be interpreted as either you got to wait a few months or we have to wait till the end of the year. They supposedly have until the end of this year or around that time to announce the last character. So I'm not sure. Like, I'm not I'm not trying to get myself too hyped for the final Smash character. Um, it could definitely happen. It could definitely not happen. Honestly, I feel like if it happens this direct, they've had a pattern sometimes of in Nintendo directs of announcing first party characters. So I wouldn't get too excited for a potential third party being the final character if it's revealed here. Um, I could definitely see being a first party character. I would love Dixie Kong, but it's never going to happen. Um, if it's if it's a Gen 8 Pokemon specifically, or if it's like another Fire Emblem character from one of the newer games, no, <laughs> that would be that would be bad. Three months is a pretty long time to wait. You think it's definitely happening? I mean, we've got seven minutes left, Jared. We'll see. I feel like. I'm honestly 50-50. I'm also trying to like temper my expectations because I'm probably gonna pop off when it happens. Depending on who it is. If it's if it's Cinderace, like I don't know. I'll be like fine. I'm honestly at the point where like I really don't care too much who gets in, unless it's like Jonesy from Fortnite. Then I'll be like, Sakurai, stop being well, actually it's not his fault. It's Nintendo chose the characters. Um it's just gonna be kind of weird. But like I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it, it, I'm 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 fifty fifty on it. I'm just kind of trying to not expect stuff so that like my expectations don't get shattered. Um, the whole the, there was that patent for the controller. A lot of people are saying N sixty four is going to get added to Nintendo Switch Online because of that. Um, I could definitely see that happening. I've got that on here. Um, I'm wondering if they will do like a higher paid tier, uh, subscription thing. I just hope that if they do that, they add more features as well. I don't know. We'll see how they handle that, but that would be really cool, especially if they had online play for some of those N64 games. That would be crazy. Um, there have been a lot of rumors about Xenoblade Chronicles 3 going around, like, supposedly the composers for that game, like, straight up saying they're working on songs for Monolith Soft. So a lot of people are thinking that could be revealed. Um, that'd be cool to see. I'd be down. Maybe an opener, opening or a closer for that. Honestly, because Xenoblade Chronicles, especially after 2, I feel like has that caliber, you know, of a franchise, so they could do that. Um, the Castlevania Advance Collection was rated. That's happening. It's just, I feel like this would be a good direct to show it off. If they shadow drop that, that would be awesome. Um, I don't know if they will. They don't have to here, of course. They could just announce it, like, on social media. It'd be really cool to see a Nintendo Direct, though, and I think it would fit in terms of, like, the other games that are shown along. I think it would be a good fit. Um, I put... <laughs> We're not getting Breath of the Wild 2 news. I put it on here in case it happens, but I really think it's too early. Supposedly, Bill Trennan said sometime, like, before the end of this year, we'd hear more news. But that doesn't mean it has to be in a Nintendo Direct. That could be, like, any form of news, to be honest. So, I don't know about that one. I'm going to lean more towards no on that. I honestly think Splatoon 3, we could hear at least a little or see a little bit more. Even if it's, it, obviously, it's a 2022 game. They said, right, it says right here, um, mainly, mainly focus on games launching this winter. That doesn't mean it's going to be exclusive to 2021. There's, they're going to have some 2022 stuff in there, no doubt. Um, well, I shouldn't say no doubt, but it's it's pretty low. The Nintendo always does this. Um, I still think we could get some Splatoon 3 stuff. Maybe just a little bit more information. It's probably not launching till at least, like, March or April. It's probably a summer game, honestly. That's a good time for Splatoon. Um... Anything else that actually could happen? Advance Wars Reboot Camp. I feel like, especially because that's that's a full price game, I think. I think that's full 60. I think they announced that. Um, if they want to show more off of that and sell it a little bit more, I feel like now would be the time to do that and really get it um, brought attention to it even more. I think that's a good time to do it. Um, the Pokemon games. Okay, so I didn't... <laughs> I consider putting both Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Legends Arceus 
Arceus, however the hell you pronounce it. I consider putting both on here separately, but I just said screw it and only put Legends Arceus on here. Um, I feel like that was kind of cheating. I feel like we'll see at least one of them. Um, I'm more excited about Legends Arceus personally, that's, that's kind of why I put it on here, but we could also see a little bit about Brilliant Dem and Shining Pearl. Also, I'm wondering how much more of the Gen 4 remakes they actually have to show because they're Gen 4 remakes. Um, unless there is a lot new that they're adding, but it doesn't seem like it as of now. But then again, they could show that here. Um, those games are coming out sooner than uh, Legends Arceus, so we'll see. Okay, we got four minutes left, so crazy, crazy stuff time. You know I put Mother 3 on here every time. Mother 3, F-Zero, Pikmin 4, Metroid Prime 4, um, new Mario Kart. It's not going to happen. I'd love it. It doesn't have to be 9. Just a new Mario Kart. Could be a Double Dash remake, Double Dash 2. That would be great. Put that on here. I put Arm Arms 2 I could actually maybe see happening. Because, like, people try to say that it didn't sell well. It didn't sell terrifically, but it still sold over a million copies. So, for a new IP, it wasn't as big as Splatoon on the Wii U. But, like, it was still pretty solid. So, I could I could see a sequel. And that was a cool game. You say Arceus. I'm kind of skeptical they show Pokemon, but it's possible. Yeah, Jared. They could also... They, the Pokemon um, Company sometimes does their own events, too. So, they could just have a separate one later. Um, hey, Sloshical. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, if you can't stay, that's okay. But uh, good to see you. Hope you're... Uh, excited for this direct hope he didn't get spoiled because like apparently there were leaks going around and stuff everywhere but yeah good to see you in the chat thanks for stopping by for a bit um what else anything else crazy got on here oh you're watching on your phone oh yeah no no worries i i mean i appreciate you stopping by no matter what um yeah i'm probably what i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna edit some of these reactions later anyway separately somehow and like this is so surreal for me somehow my metroid dread reaction got into like a compilation video and i just found that out like a couple days ago and it absolutely blew my mind it was so surreal i was so hyped for that because i watch those compilation videos all the time i was just like it just blew my mind it was so weird it was such a weird feeling um oh wind waker twilight princess hd Maybe we'll see those come up. However, Nintendo, I, I doubt it because Nintendo said, like, after all the E3 stuff, like, this is the last we're doing for the Zelda anniversary this year. So maybe that's a later thing. But it would be cool to see those games get off the Wii U because they are really good HD remakes. I played both of them. Um, Bayonetta 3, is it time? Platinum had those comments where Kamiya was like, yeah, we're just waiting for Nintendo to show it off. Essentially is what they said. So when is that time? I don't know. But supposedly the game's okay. I don't know. Um, what else I got? Rhythm Heaven, I put I put Rhythm Heaven on here for Ash from Good Vibes Gaming just for him because that would be cool to see. Fire Emblem Remake, that's been going around. So instead of like a new mainline game, kind of like what they did with Echo Shadows of Valentia on 3DS, I really like that game. So I would love to see them do that for like, I think Genealogy the Holy Wars, the next game. I would love to see that. Um, or even remake, I don't know, any of the, the Ike games, Path of Radiance, Radiant Dawn. And uh, because those are super expensive and get those in the new one. You're going to leave, so I'm not on delay. Talk to you. Yeah, no, Jared, you're a little bit on delay. We'll, we'll text about it later, I'm sure. Yeah, go watch it on the full screen yourself, and then come watch this reaction later if you're interested. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll get some good stuff, I'm sure. You know something, Jared, that I don't, because you got spoiled. Not, I mean, not that that's a good thing, but... I talked about New Kirby, right? I mentioned New Kirby. I think that's everything. I think I just brought up everything. We are one minute, less than a minute, honestly, to go... Appreciate Jared and you slash go stopping by for a bit. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna upload. I'll upload. I'll edit and upload some of these uh, clips of the reactions later. The good ones. But calm myself down. The one thing I realized I was thinking about this earlier is that I feel like the more time between the announcement and the actual showing of the direct. Here we go. Um, the more time that there is, the less like over expecting of things I am. But like because they just announced this yesterday, I'm trying to like temper my expectations. Because I think it's always good to go in that way. I'm going to get my mouse cursor off the screen. There we go. Hopefully you can hear it. If you can't hear it, please let me know in the chat. But I tested the audio earlier, so hopefully it's okay. Here we go. What do we got? They're just starting off. Is this... Oh, is this Monster Hunter... This looks like Monster Hunter Rise. Is it an update for Monster Hunter? Yeah, it is Monster Hunter. Okay. Or is it Stories 2? No, this is Monster... This is Rise. The crazy thing about this would be if this is a, a Smash trailer for the Monster Hunter and Smash, that'd be wild. Okay, I, I don't know. I just started playing Monster Hunter with Rise, so I don't know all the characters, but it looks really cool. Is that a new monster or returning one? <laughs> Turns out it's actually Bayonetta 3. Sunbreak. Okay, so it look. Oh, okay. It looks like a big. It's a paid DLC, so it looks like a big DLC expansion. That's an interesting opener. 
Summer 2022. Okay, I mean, it's a big game, so that's cool. Um, cool, okay. Interesting way to start. They're not opening with the Smash trailer. So either they're going to probably end with it, or they're going to have a separate event, or they're going to throw us off and put it in the middle. Yo, Koizumi with the haircut looking clean. Koizumi. Koizumi, hello, my friend. I almost put Doug Bowser on the bingo sheet, but I was like, he's not going to show up. First trailer for Monster, Monster Hunter, Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Okay. For Hunter Rise. Are we looking? Yeah, I think I'm looking. Hopefully the audio's fine. Our friends at Capcom are working on mini this music is so catchy that they have in the background of these directs. They're so, they're so catchy. So I'm guessing that's a new monster, if I had to guess. And, although not touched on in the trailer, new hunting actions and quest ranks. Oh, okay cool looks like a big update i need to go back to monster hunter rise so maybe this is mm, see it's tough because it's paid dlc so that's what i'm I'm like is this maybe this could get me back into the game for more information in the future not for a while though all right we'll see our first batch of nintendo switch headlines headlines okay headlines are always interesting sometimes they're small games sometimes they're big games party during the day oh mario party is that mario party where is my shoppy it's almost time to party Yep, there we go. That was an easy win right there. But what was that spooky thing going on? I'm not experienced with Mario Party, so I don't know what these are. Woody Woods. I'm guessing these are all N64 boards, right? I, I don't know because I haven't played many Mario Parties. Yoshi's Tropical Island, okay. The, these, look, these look nice. I like... Oh, interesting. Oh, is it Haunted House? Horrorland, okay. That's what that was, okay. I was confused about what that actually was. Oh. Oh, so you... Okay, that's cool. Survival mode. That's kind of cool. So you can play just the minigames if you want to. Okay, I think they've had modes like that before. Okay, so they've got other modes. That's good to see. Yes, online play from the start. That's great. Honestly, I like the online in Super Mario Party. I don't think... A lot of people don't like Super Mario Party. I think it's a decent game. But maybe that's just because I don't have, like, a ton of expectations based on the older games. Because I haven't played them yet, so... Solid. That's a good game. Of course, they were going to show that off. Hmm. It's a card-based RPG? Is it The Witcher? Is it Gwent from The Witcher? Voice of Cards. Voice of Cards. The quest to slay the dragon. Is this like a company we know, or is this uh I mean it looks fairly high profile, it doesn't look indie. I don't recognize any of these characters. Okay, it looks like Square Enix, but it's a card based game. Okay, interesting. Okay. Looks solid. Not my type of game at all, but like looks solid. I'm not going to lie, having the cards rather than an actual RPG kind of takes me out of it a little bit. But that's just me personally. It looks like it's a fairly in-depth game, I would say. So that's pretty good. Okay. Okay. I like the animations for the cards. <laughs> looks cool. But still, like I said, it's hard for me to get immersed into, like, what I really like. I mean, I don't play many RPGs, to be honest. Oh, that's I recognize some of those names. I don't play a lot of RPGs myself, but, like, one thing I really like about them is just characters and story. And I'm not going to lie, it's tough for me to get into the characters and story when it's a card-based system like that. Gotta use your imagination. I guess I just don't have it. <laughs> I guess I just don't have the most expansive imagination, but it looks good. Square Enix is going to be some quality behind that. Then again, they made Balan Wonderworld. Disaster of a human Why does that look familiar? You awaken in a hotel room in the city of Revishol, devoid of your memory. Why that painting that they showed off in the headline looked a little familiar. Oh, Disco Elysium. I've heard of this game before. Didn't it get nominated for Game of the uh the Game Awards like a couple of years back or something? You interrogate people and uncover clues. Seems like a good fit for the Switch, honestly. Seems pretty solid. To investigate. You'll need the help of the 24 skills living within you. The 24 skills. Your behaviors and available I like the art style. The art style is very interesting. Okay. It's a very, very heavy decision-based game, it looks like. Okay. I always gotta, like, look at the camera, like, on... <laughs> I have everything, like, OBS on this screen for once. 
just so that you can actually see me looking at the camera this way, like facing the screen. Um, I always gotta like, because it's so thin where I am, like I gotta make sure I'm always lined up so I'm not cut off. I think that happened a little bit during my E3 2021 reaction, I got cut off a little bit. Cool, okay, solid. Oh, here we go. DLC 2. I'm excited for this because I actually really like this game, and I really liked um, DLC Pack 1. That was pretty fun. I just want to see who's playable. Terrico. Oh, we're getting story? Are we getting story in this? It's Ridley! He's too big for Smash, and now he's here! If you're going to tell me you can play as the Blights, don't tell me you can play as the Blights. Like Windblight, Ganon, and all of that. That'd be wild. This is story. Are we getting story? Holy shit, we're getting story content here, aren't we? They're redoing what they did for a Breath of the Wild, where the second pass was story. Yes, give Astor a fucking purpose. He did nothing in Age of Calamity. Give him something to do, please. Oh, he just went down so easily. No! What? Who just broke Terrico? Did you just smash Terrico? What the hell was that? So when does this take place? Oh, they're not. They're not giving us any details. No, no. Oh, they're finally playable. I was about to say. I was about to say. Robbie and Puro were Oh. Wait, are they a tag team? Wait, they're a tag team. Oh, that's so cool. October 29th. Shit, that's sooner than I thought. I thought it was November. What the hell? Oh, isn't this a Chocobo racing game? I think I've heard of this before. Chocobo GP, yeah. Isn't this like an old, like, PlayStation 1 game or something? I'm sure people are excited for this. It's like Final Fantasy characters in racing. That's cool. Okay. Hypes up a little bit after that Age of Calamity Pass 2 DLC trailer. That was good. I liked it. Story content and Robbie and Pura playable. They looked really cool. I honestly, I thought... I know I'm not talking about this, sorry. Um, it looks interesting enough. Um, I really thought that Robbie and Pura were going to be playable after the first pass. Because like the all the side quests involved helping them directly. So I was like, oh, they're going to... Once you do all of them, you're going to unlock them. But no, it was the Guardian instead. Um, the one thing I'm still confused about is how is, like, Suga not playable? I thought for sure Suga was going to be playable. Or maybe even Astor. So that's crazy. Unless unless we're going to unlock them, too. That would be wild. Who knows? Maybe there's more DLC for that game down the line. But I doubt it. That game's almost a year old already, if you can believe that. Time flies. It's crazy. But cute. I like it. It's cute. What did you think? Solid. Solid start with some good headlines. Next video. We have some news about the last fighter for the Super Oh, oh, mm, 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 mm. news. Mr. Sakurai, the game's director, will reveal the Yeah, it's a separate event. Final. Mr. Sakurai presents October 5th. October okay, so they're not announcing it yet. I can kind of I can count it as them announcing it. I'm counting. It. Yeah, okay. A lot of people were thinking 10 a.m. It's been about 3 years. Uh, I can't react to that. This will be the last presentation about Super Smash Bros. Yep. They did this for Smash 4, so we should have expected this to happen. Okay. Okay. That's fair. October 5th is what? Please take a look at this. Whatever. I'll think about it later. I want to stay hyped in the moment with these Nintendo games. What do we got next? Mark that looks like Mario Odyssey, but there's no way. What are those birds? Oh, Splatoon 3! This has got to be Splatoon 3. Maybe? Post-apocalyptic, I think it's Splatoon 3. Woomy? Where's the Woomy? Where's the Woomy gang? Then again, I don't know. If this is Splatoon 3, this looks really cool, but I don't know. Kirby! The boy! Where'd I put him? Where'd he go? He fell! The boy! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Is it 3D is the question? Oh, no way, is it 3D? Is it 3D? Come on, show me something. Let's go! Oh, woo! 3D Kirby, the Forgotten Land. Oh, I thought it was... Oh, that looks so... It's actually 3D! They actually did it. They said it was going to be revolutionary, but they actually went and did it. Oh my god, this looks great! 
I wonder why- I, it surprises me they didn't do this sooner, because, like... This looks great! Like an actual Kirby 3D platformer! That's awesome, look at him! Oh, this is so good. This looks so cool, I love it. I, I'm playing this, I love Kirby, I love Kirby so much. Super wholesome. Do you have to rescue Waddledees? Interesting, because usually they're part of DDD's army, so this is interesting. Oh, this looks so good! Yeah, it's straight up 3D! And we got the spike ability, okay, got the cutter, the classics. Flame ability. Got any new ones? We got ice. Do we have any, like, new, cool kind of power-ups? I'm sure we'll get something. Big Gorilla Boy. Is this gonna be, like, the Mario Odyssey moment for Mario? Or maybe not to that degree, but yes, let's go! 3D Kirby. I almost put 3D on the bingo sheet, but I just said I didn't want to take the risk. Spring. That is perfect. That is perfect timing for Kirby. Yes. Let's go. Oh, that's great. That's amazing. I love it. They actually made it 3D. Like I was saying, I'm, I was so confused why they didn't do this sooner. Because, like, to be honest, Kirby controlling in 3D seems like it'd be totally fine. Right. It's almost like post-apocalyptic. That's why I thought it was Splatoon 3 at first. That's so cool. That's not that much longer away. That, uh, that's awesome. I love it. I will very much look forward to it, Koizumi. We got plenty of time to see what else is in the game, too, but why not? Whenever they just say, oh, we've got this to show you, that's what, like, sets me on edge. Like, it could be something big or not. Animal Crossing update! What did I tell you? It's time! If we get Arms 2 in Advance Wars, I actually get a bingo. <laughs> the Roost! Yes! Spring and Rooster! Finally! Like I was saying, the code's been in the game for so long. I've never played an Animal Crossing game before New Horizons, so I'm not too familiar with the Roost, but I know it's open, like, late at night. A separate Direct? Okay, I don't know if you need a separate Direct for Animal Crossing. Airing in October. Since its launch in so they're just announcing more. Okay. Has been enjoyed by many players they're just announcing that there's more DLC coming. Okay. New free content will arrive in November. And why is there a, this a separate direct in October? In preparation for its release, we will be airing an Animal Crossing New Horizons direct in October. Interesting, but how long is it going to be? More detail. Huh. Okay. I mean, unless there's enough content there. Look out for the air date of this presentation. We will be on the lookout. It's going to be too long. They're announcing a lot of presentations in this, aren't they? Oh, uh, I'm not going to be able to react to the, the final Smash character live. I'm not going to be able to. I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'm going to have a... Okay. Mario Golf update! Wow, I'm calling a lot of these. I'm calling many of these, aren't I? Koopa Troopa, okay. Did they announce this at E3? I don't remember. I feel like they showed... Maybe they didn't. Ninji! Ninji never gets brought back. Isn't Ninji from Mario World? And they showed the, yeah, the, the Odyssey chorus too. Oh, look at him. Look at him go. That's, I love it. I love when they make like the Mario enemies playable. Like Charging Chuck is great in this game. Just throws the fucking football. He's like, dude, you're in the wrong sport, but we're not going to mess with your vibe. Oh, today. Nice. Okay, a little bit of a shadow drop. What's this? An invitation. To Smash Brothers! I was gonna say, was that like, uh... Was that like Kingdom Hearts or something? I have no idea what this is. Look at that avatar face. So they're just they're straight up Miis. You might as well have just made a Miis at that point if you're gonna have it on a Nintendo platform. Oh, it was originally on 3DS? Okay. It's just weird that, like, it's... Do they have the first Magic World? What is this? Is it one of the Jedi Outcast games? Holy shit, they're just releasing Knights of the Old Republic? Just the original straight up. So it's not gonna get the remake, I'm guessing. I don't Actually, I don't think it was announced for Switch at all. <laughs> they're like, you know, look at the original. We can't, we can't, uh... Switch, November 11th. Okay. They're like, we can't we can't make the uh the remake run on this thing, but let's get the original. Okay, that's solid. That's pretty good. There's one thing you must always remember. Stay human? Is this like a Deus Ex game or something? Is the city. Humanity's last I feel like I've heard of it. Turns people into the undead. In the cloud version of Oh, dying light. I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know any of those. Uh, cloud versions. More cloud versions of games. They're making it a thing. I mean, I guess it's kind of a way to get them on the Switch, right? It's still probably going to be weird in terms of performance, but we'll see. Okay. This does not interest me in the slightest. I'm not a huge fan of cloud-based games, to be honest, because, I mean, obviously, you have to always be connected to the internet to uh, actually play it, you know? But, I mean, if it's if it's some people's way in order to play these games, then I guess it's a way to do it, but okay. Take the prequel on the go. In dying light, okay, but this isn't cloud. This is straight up on the console, right? They didn't say it was cloud. So I think this is actually, like, you can just play offline on the Switch, but the... Unless it's included in that cloud version, by the way. I have no idea. I don't know why I pretend to know this when I really don't care about Dying Light. <laughs> just not my thing, but, like... No, it's separate. Okay, so then, yeah, I guess that is... You could just play that first Platinum Edition on a... Just Switch without online. That's cool. Uh, is this Project Triangle Strategy? Yeah, okay. You know, some people predicted this. I didn't think of it, honestly. If we get advanced swarms or arms too, I'm just saying. I am just saying. We're almost halfway through already? Wow. Okay. Where will your conviction guide you? Benedict. You have gone to the one place I cannot. Voice acting with these kind of games is interesting, actually. You know, like having like the Oh, cool. Okay, they, I forgot they had the demo. Cool. I really like how they're doing this for certain games. I think they did it for... I don't know if they did it for Octopath, but they definitely did it for Bravely Default 2, I remember hearing. So, that's cool to see. I like that they're doing that. You know, really getting in player feedback and incorporating that into the final product. That's awesome. Very pretty looking game, I will say. And it's cool to see they're not just doing traditional RPGs. Like, they're actually doing the strategy RPGs as well. Like, that's with this engine. That's really cool to see. Cool. Okay. Not too much farther for those who are interested. Like I said, I'm not a big RPG person, so personally not for me, but there's something for everybody in this presentation. Oh, here we go. 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 Actually showing it. Okay. Let's all calm down. They just they just brought that in out of nowhere. I kind of wish they weren't showing more of this game because like the Emmys talk. Wait, no, that's gotta be that's gotta be the um. The Atom AI, because they said it's returning confusion. That's got to be it. Okay. See, part of me doesn't want to see more, but like, they're going to show it. I'm going to watch it. One thing I didn't realize is that the Emmys like literally like drill these things into your face. That's Atom. That's the AI. That's the Atom AI. That's got to be what that voice is. Shine Spark. Is that the Shine Spark? I think it is. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, they dropped it in the direct! People are gonna be so mad about that! Oh my god! They're gonna be so mad about that. Wow, they really were just like, nah, you're not avoiding spoilers today. Like, wow. Wow. That. Whew. Okay. Is that it? That's really. Samus Aran, the most powerful bounty hunter in the galaxy. Embarks on a new mission to the uncharted planet. Zero. Haven't they already? Sh Didn't they have a separate trailer for this? Isn't this all just like information they've already shared? Yeah, those needles coming out of the face are terrifying. We've already seen all of this, so why are they? Sh this is what I was saying. They really didn't need to show this here, to be honest. These environments are great. I'm not gonna lie. I just want to play the game. <laughs> That's all I want to do. I just want to play the game. You don't need to show anymore. Uh, uh, the different camera angles, too, is really cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Samus is like, you're full of shit. Okay, is that it? Okay, it's a little bit. Okay. I'm, I'm so, honestly, like, why did they have to... Yeah, they're really pushing this. I haven't read any of the reports, to be honest, but maybe I will at some point. Then again, do I want to know more? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm streaming that. Let's go. Nice. Okay. Actually, I think they already were available. You know, Koizumi, it looked great, but, like, we didn't... N64? 
Many people have been using Nintendo Switch on N64 time? September I think it might be N64 time. In addition to the current membership, we'll be adding a new membership nope. plan. They are doing the higher tier. Okay. Nate the Hate was right. Part of this new plan's content. Yep. There it is. Ocarina of Time. Yep. Straight up. The controller pattern was... Yep. They doing Mario 64. Oh, people who bought a... Uh, People who bought, um, 3D All-Stars are going to be so mad. What? Was that Resident Evil 2? Star Fox 64, Sin and Punishment. Okay. Mario Kart 64. Are you going to put these all immediately? Mario Tennis. Okay. Mario Party. Oh, and online up to four players. Okay, that's cool. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yo! They're putting the Genesis on there? Okay, that's cool. No one saw that. No one said the Genesis. Okay. That's kind of hype. Fantasy Star? Was that 4? Streets of Rage, of course. Get Echo out of here. Get Echo the Dolphin out of here. No one cares. <laughs> there you go, Dylan. Let's Echo the Dolphin for you. Right. But are there any other features? This is Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion. Pack. That's so long. Why did you name it that? <laughs> plus Expansion Pack. Uh, late, late October. Okay, so about a month. Of course, you'll still be able to continue using the existing plans. But you just won't be able to play the other games. Also, those who have change over from your existing plan. Okay. I wonder how much more it's gonna be. Are they gonna talk about prices? No, they're not gonna. They're not gonna talk about prices here. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't in this. Yeah, they wouldn't talk about it here. It makes sense. We'd like to announce the games that will be available. Oh, okay. Oh no, that was win back. I don't know what the hell that is. Yoshi Story. It was just all the ones they already showed. Okay. Rystar, I love Rystar. Shinobi 3, Shining 4, Sonic 2, interesting choice. Castlevania Bloodlines, actually, that's a good... Majora's Mask, okay. F-Zero X coming later, I know people wanted that, okay. Can I cross off F-Zero, technically? No. Pokemon Snap, they're gonna add po Kirby 64, okay, but they're gonna... Banjo Kazooie, yo, Banjo! They're gonna re-release Banjo. I love how they just show that at the end out of nowhere. Oh my god. Wait. Are you telling me there's a Genesis? There's a Nintendo branded Genesis controller for the Switch? What? What? I kind of want the Genesis controller just to use it. That's so funny. It's like a Nintendo branded Sega Genesis controller. What? Let's see I don't know. Okay. What was that? I love how they just casually showed Banjo Kazooie and then cut it off right at the end. Oh, Castlevania. It's Castlevania time. No idea what this is. Cyberpunk 2077 coming to the Nintendo Switch. You'll explore a dystopian future where magic has reawakened and fantasy creatures have come back to life. Okay. Branching narratives. Interesting. They've mentioned collection specifically. I don't understand how this is a collection, but I... F oh, the trilogy. Okay. This could easily be Castlevania Advance Collection. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Four? Oh. Oh, yeah, I heard about Dracula X coming here, too. I really want to get more into Castlevania. Um, I got the anniversary co uh, collection or whatever it was called on the Switch with, like, all the classic... Um, ooh, and regional versions, too. Okay. I've heard good things about, like, especially Ari of Sorrow. Oh, shit, it's a Shadow Drop! That's hype! That's actually really cool. This isn't Fire Emblem, is it? Wait, wait, wait. No. The classic Fillmore? Game Act Razor returns on oh, sorry. I've heard of Act Razor. <laughs> you know, We Shop Wednesdays taught me what an Act Razor is. <laughs> Act Razor, Blazing Lasers, Basis, Loaded Mega Terracon. That's the only reason why I know it. It almost looks like... It looks like Symphony of the Night combined with like an RPG or something. Well, I guess... Doesn't Symphony of the Night have RPG mechanics? 
Castlevania as a shadow drop is tempting. The lands you've liberated in the world building creation. Oh, interesting. It's up and this is a remaster of a Super Nintendo game? Okay. To make way cool. For new ones, creating a flourishing cool. Who? What a publisher is this actually? As you do so, your powers will increase, giving you Is this like a well-known publisher? I'm not sure who this is. Is this Square Enix? Is it? Between the original the art style looks great. Of the beloved soundtrack and enjoy oh, nice. I love when games allow you to have like both the original and new uh, like rearranged music too. I love when that happens. It is Square Enix. Okay, cool. I don't know what that game is, but ooh, another Shadow Drop. These are good Shadow Drops, honestly. Oh, Delta Rune? Delta Rune Chapter 2? Because they just released that before. I mean, we already assumed it was coming to Switch, right? Oh my god, the dog. <laughs> I haven't played Delta Rune. I only played Undertale, but I love it. You think that's you think that's Toby Fox in the dog costume? Holy crap, this I didn't know the soundtrack was this good. Wow, okay. I mean it looks really, really good, so like It's tempting. Isn't it free actually? I think they announced that later chapters were going to be paid, but I'm pretty sure, like, the first two are free. Which I don't understand how, but... I've heard really good things. I Honestly, I've really heard good things, so... Oh, was chapter one not on Switch yet? All the shadow drops! Holy crap, man! Oh, why didn't I put sh Oh, this is a sizzle reel? It is, yeah, a sizzle reel. Hot Wheels Unleashed? Okay, I was gonna say, they they just put Shin Megami Tensei 5 in a sizzle reel. Interesting. This seems like the end of a direct thing, but we still have 13 minutes left. So what would they... Okay, they're just kind of showing off Shin Megami Tensei 5 a bit. I honestly thought that would have gotten its own separate thing. What else could they show off? It's calling a new Mario Kart. They'll show off Mario Kart. <laughs> they're not gonna show off Mario Kart. Um... Oh, maybe Pokemon, honestly. Oh. Okay, some Namco classics. Cool. Oh, I've heard Rune Factory. I know some people like that. Not my kind of game, like I said, but... Okay. There we go, Koizumi. Pretty solid. I'm sure. A few, okay. Koizumi-san. Oh, Miyamoto-san. <gasps> Miyamoto! You haven't been here for a while. Uh-oh. Are we getting a new Mario? We get a new 3D Mario? He, he's looking a little older, I'm not gonna lie. They're gonna talk about the Mario movie? Yeah, white guy. <laughs> oh. In a Nintendo Direct? <laughs> Why would they announce it in a Direct, of all things? So next holiday, okay. For North America is on December twenty first, and we'll be announcing release dates wow. for Japan. Wow. Okay. Europe well, there we go. Right before Christmas, right? Wow. Is it gonna be a Christmas theme movie? Mario in action on the big screen, but today I also wanted to reveal our key cast members who will be voicing Mario and his. Did they do this because of that leak with the other voice actor? Chris Pratt is Mario. Who will be played? What the fuck? He's so cool. Mario will be talking what? about the movie. Please look forward to Mario as performed by the What? Director. First of all, why are they showing this here? Second of all, why Chris Pratt? Next, Princess Peach will be played by she seems like a good fit. I've heard of her, but I don't know her specifically off the top of my head. I'm sure I've seen her somewhere. Why is Chris Pratt Mario? What? Why is this guy Luigi? This is oh, this is gonna be the Super Mario Brothers movie all over again, just animated. What? What? Bowser will be played by the one and only Jack Black. <laughs> okay, that's the best, the best announcement so far. Oh my god. The comedian Keegan Michael Key will be playing Toad. Am I dreaming this? Is this a fever dream? Like I don't even know what's happening right now. <laughs> what? Donkey Kong will also be making an appearance. This has to be a joke. Is it April Fools? By Seth Rogen. I'm literally dreaming. I'm literally dreaming. What the fuck? And of course, Charles Martinet, who has voiced Mario and many more Nintendo characters. So he's not going to be Mario. Is also involved. But he's involved. But and will be appearing in surprise cameos in the movie. But he's not. Uh, he's not the actual voice. 
We also have more incredible talent joining the film to play some of our other beloved the, the, All the Donkey Kong characters? Yeah, the Spike. Spike was, he was the one that, like, was like, oh yeah, I'm Spike in this movie. I wonder if... What is that cast? That's like the cast from a stoner comedy. Like, what the hell? That is a little bit different from I don't know what I'm more baffled at. Jack Black as Bowser? Or Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong? Like, I thought Chris Pratt as Mario was the weird part. Okay. And why would you talk about that during a direct? I, I want to see people's reactions to that. What was that? <laughs> what was that segment? That was so bizarre. Splatoon! Let's go! People said this wasn't gonna show up. I'm like, nah, fuck you. Get out of here. They're gonna show off Splatoon 3. Let's go! Ooh, this music, though. Am I still lined up? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Ooh. Let's go. When's it coming out? We're gonna get a release date? Oh, the crab robot thing that we saw last time. Honestly, I skipped down on two, but I might get three. I played the original, but I'm, I might get... What is that ring? This is such a banger. Oh my god. Splatoon soundtracks are great. What the heck? You can fling around like Spider-Man? Hello, Peter. Just fling over there? This is crazy. Okay. Woo. I love Splatoon music so much. It's so... It gives me such Sega vibe. Story mode? Story mode. Oh, here we go. Bring in the, uh... They're not called the Octolinks, but I forget what they're even called. Just the regular enemies. But they're back. Oh. They're, like, interrupting the signal. Whoa. Oh, yeah. This single player's gonna be good. As long as it's different enough from the first two. I know a lot of people had an issue with uh, Splatoon 2 single player being way too similar to the original. Okay, here we go. Ooh, all this music... Okay. They're back, of course. They have to be back. And uh, Captain Cuttlefish is there, too. Callie Marie, I don't know why I forgot their names for a second. Why are they all fuzzy? Are uh, Pearl and Marina gonna be here too? Woo. Oh, wait, what the hell was that? Was that like a clamshell robot? <gasps> say, I love the Salmonid buddy. And it's, yeah, it's still that post apocalyptic uh, setting. With the, was that a rocket ship? That's cool. Honestly, I, this game looks good. It really does. Oh no! What? What? Return of the Mama The Mammalians. What? Wait. <laughs> Is he gonna do the dev? Splatoon 3! I've been meticulously no? studying the mysterious Very meticulously. that can transform into humanoid form. What you just saw was the latest research footage from Splatoon 3. Mm. Allow me to share a bit of what we know so far. See, no one else said they were going to go into it. I was always a believer that this is going to be the time for Splatoon 3. Splatsville, the city of chaos. Right, because supposedly the last Splatfest of Splatoon 2 was Order vs. Chaos, and I guess Chaos 1. It's really cool that they play that into the plot of the next game. Like, look at these environments. They look so cool. Creating its distinctive culture. Okay. In the Splatlands, turf war appears to be a popular activity. Its Very popular. We're gonna kill each other. It's like Mad Max style or something. Against each other to ink the most area. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some like costumes you can get that kind of look like Mad Max or something. But we got the we got the crossbow too, or just the the regular bow and arrow. Of new main and special weapons. That's so cool. I love the fact that you can. That's gotta be a special, right? That's not like a weapon or anything. Activities from story mode. The Story mode. So, oh, so it's called Return of the Mammalians. Is that what those fuzzy things were? That's interesting. That's interesting. Right, because they're all, like, fuzzy. <laughs> so if you have fur, you're a mammal. That's how it works. <laughs> That's how it works? Okay. Release window? We'll continue with our research. And Release window? Updated once more results Maybe? Available. Summer 2022? Please look forward to more. Splatoon 3. Oh! He's doing the three! <laughs> Updates to it wasn't a dab, but it's close enough. See you next time. Ah, uh, no release window. Oh, well. Oh, well. So, we got five minutes left. Pretty good. I, I, I think it's shaping up to be well. 
is scheduled to yeah. release in 2022. Well, yeah. We knew that, Koizumi, but thank you. <laughs> thank you for... Forward to future updates. You know, if Bayonetta 3 gets revealed, that's a bingo. I'm just saying. This is the last trailer okay. I have to show you today. I'm guessing take a look. nothing Zelda related. It's not Smash. What could it be? If this is Bayonetta 3, I swear. It might be. What the heck? It's the Hulk Ultimate Destruction Remastered. <laughs> Imagine they ended it with Damon X Machina 2. What is this? It's not Shin Megami Tensei. Because they already showed that off, unless they wanted to redo it. I don't recognize this at all. I still am thinking it might be Bayonetta. I genuinely don't know. Oh no, our weapons are useless! Is this a Sonic Adventure 1 remake? <laughs> What the? Is it like Astral Chain 2? It better not be Damon X Machina 2. That'd be one weird announcement to end on. Oh, it's Bayonetta! Bayonetta, come on. Come out here, girl. No, it's Astral Chain. It's Astral Chain 2. I really thought it was going to be... Oh, oh! Are they playing into this? This is totally Bayonetta. Let's go! Kick his ass! Here we go. Bayo 3, it's time. That's a bingo, baby. No, it's not. Fuck, it's not. Oh, I thought it was. No. They didn't do Advanced Wars. Never mind, I lied. Oh, it's time. It's been... That is a good look. That is a good look. It's been about time. Let's go. I really I played through Bayonetta 1 and 2 on the Switch version. Let's go. I was wondering. I love cause that mascot is from Astral Chain 2, isn't it? And it's that's also platinum. I I think they were playing that up to be like, oh, it's actually Astral Chain 2. Nah, this is Bayonetta 3. Here we go. Oh, let's go. What are these creatures though? What are these creatures? Oh, the Madame Butterfly or whatever. Okay. Smashing. Oh, here we go. It's been too long. It's been four years. It's been four years. They don't look like angels or demons, so what the hell are they? I wonder if they're like spirits of the undead or something. They're not going to show her clothes coming off in this trailer. <laughs> I was going to say, are they? Is that a uh, Gamora? I think so. I think so. Here we go. Oh, we're we gonna get we're we gonna get kaiju battles in this game. That's kind of wild. I'm not gonna lie. Gameplay's looking pretty solid. Bayonetta three time. That was one of like the one of the few games like Prime Four Breath of the Wild two that are like no, they're not gonna show it. Okay, that's solid. That's a it's been long. oh I don't like the spider, but <laughs> okay go for, oh that is a creepy looking spider. Ugh. Or is it a scorpion? I don't know. It looks a the UI is different too. Bayonetta three. Yeah, it's been way too long, baby. Oh, yes. Now all we need is more info on Prime 4 and the Holy Trinity is complete. There we go. No release date though, right? I'm guessing. But they could check. 2022, so we got a year. It's coming out next year. What? Who the... Who the heck is that? Wait. Oh, it's, probably, it's probably a new character, but it almost looked like someone from Devil May Cry, which I think Kamiya works on, or he worked on. My chair's low. I hate this. Yeah, way too long ago, Koizumi. It's been almost four years. Okay, we have a release year for it, though, so that's good. Like I said, Prime 4 is the one where, like, we just have to wait, but, um, that's it? Okay. Pretty good. Thank you, for watching. you know what? I'm genuinely shocked about specifically Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Like, I was honestly fairly confident that was going to show up. There we go. That, it was pretty... Okay, I'm... It was pretty solid. 
I will say it was pretty solid. A lot of people were like sure the final DLC character was going to show up. I honestly, I'm kind of glad I wasn't expecting it because I was kind of like they could go either way. It makes sense that they're doing a separate event. I'm sure Nintendo fans are shitting the bed everywhere because they hate everything that was shown. Um, I thought that was pretty solid. Um, Bayonetta 3 at the end was great. I mean, we haven't seen that game in four years. So it's great that they finally showed that again. Um, some of the updates, Animal Crossing Mario Golf, that was cool. Mario Party Superstar is looking great. The new Kirby game, the new 3D Kirby, that's going to be so good. And spring is a perfect time for that. It really is. Um, Castlevania Advanced Collection, that's a shadow drop. Is that out now or it's out tonight or something? Like, that's awesome. Um, NSO with N64 and Genesis. I'll be curious to see what they actually price it at. Um, Splatoon 3 is looking really good. That's coming out next year at some point. They didn't really say anything beyond that, I don't think. Age of Calamity DLC Pack 2 is looking good. So they had um, some pretty good announcements. Metroid Dread, I, they really didn't need to show Metroid Dread. I'm sorry, they really didn't. Like, they didn't show us anything new from what I could tell. And, like, people who are watching the Nintendo Directs are already hardcore Nintendo fans. And they've already decided whether they're going to buy the game or not. So I don't know. They really didn't need to show that. Um, overall, I thought it was pretty solid. Nothing too crazy. Nothing to, like... My, my um, favorite announcements was the mario cast reveal okay oh hey alejandro how's it going castlevania advanced collection is really cool did i just did i dream the cast reveal for the mario movie was that real or was i, I genuinely think i dreamed that like i think i spaced out for like three minutes and they just randomly some the, whatever comedy actor popped into my head was oh this character like what they really went all out with like like at least those are the that was the North American cast in terms of like, you know, like the pop the big names, but the comedy, I don't know. I so what I mean it's gonna be a comedic movie then, for sure. I mean, I like those actors, don't get me wrong, but it's like I don't know, it just it's bizarre to me that they would do that. At least Charles Martin is in the movie, but like it's random other voices we don't know yet. That was really weird. I think I just dreamed that. Besides that, I was just like completely surprised by that that wasn't even like hype necessarily that was just like what the fuck um my most hype announcements were definitely kirby the 3d kirby they're finally putting kirby in 3d coming out in spring next year that's great and then obviously showing bayonetta 3 for the first time in four years and we got gameplay too so maybe it's looking okay you know we thought that we a lot of people were worried it wasn't going to be great but um because they hadn't talked about it for so long but it just seemed like nintendo was really waiting for the right moment to show it off but it's looking interesting i want to know more um Nothing, nothing like super, super hype for me, honestly, but um, the best reaction out of me was definitely the Mario cast. I was like, what the fuck? That was so weird and stupid. Um, I'm probably going to edit uh, separate reaction videos for a few of those announcements. I'll probably do, I'll probably do Kirby. I'll probably do Bayonetta 3 and then probably, I'll, pro I'll do the Mario cast reveal just because of how stupid it was. That was just like, that wasn't even exciting. It was just like, what? <laughs> it was just like, I, I, it was a fever dream. Um. Like I said, still completely surprised. No Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I thought that was almost a lock, but you never know what to expect. I'm glad they showed off more Splatoon 3. Maybe I'll edit that reaction too. I'm glad they showed that off. That was cool. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to be streaming some Skyward Sword HD in a little bit. Um, to 6.45 Eastern now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make 7.15. Because I do need to eat dinner, so I'm going to do that and then set up everything first. Um, I'll leave it at uh, 7.15 for now, and then I can always change it after. It might be a little late, but I'm guessing maybe start around 7.30. But I will be streaming more Skyward Sword HD. Um, I'll probably be talking about this during that, because that's going to be the big news. Uh, but thank you all for watching this video. I genuinely appreciate it, especially if you're watching the VOD after. I'm sure a lot of you will be. Um, but those who tuned in live, I appreciate you stopping in for a bit. And um, like I said, I'll probably upload. I'll, I'll, I have I have some. Uh, I'm taking some time off this weekend, so I'll probably take some time to edit uh different clips and uh reaction videos together and upload those separately like i did for e3 um and yeah we'll go from there but thank you again for watching if you're interested i'll be streaming skyward sword hd in a bit on the same channel um and that'll be good but for now that's gonna be it pretty solid direct overall definitely not as hype as um e3 for me but it was i thought it was okay i thought it was pretty decent nothing crazy but it was pretty solid but overall i liked it i hope you enjoyed it too and i will catch you all I mean, for a reaction video, whenever they do a reaction video again, it might be a bit, but um, yeah, in terms of Skyward Sword HD, if you want to follow um, me streaming that, finishing that up, Metroid Dread comes out in almost two weeks. I'm so hyped I'll be streaming that. Uh, but otherwise, I will see you all in the next video. So take care in the meantime and enjoy your weekend. Have yourselves a good one. See you then.